welcome back. A new lumber yard opened up, so I went and picked up some wood I've never worked with before. I'm going to practice squaring up the stock, cutting it to length, joining it, uh, and make some cutting boards. I'm going to do all of that by hand, with hand tools. So I have a Japanese pole saw, this is a super cheap one, uh, combination square, jack plane, number five, marking gauge, something to write with, maybe I'll use a chisel, haven't decided yet, um, sheet of sandpaper, some clamps, some wood glue, and then um, just some mineral oil mixed with some beeswax to make a food safe finish. I'm going to try making a couple cutting boards, um, but I'll walk you through the first one I make. Let's get started. I started out with walnut since that was my smallest board. These cuts don't have to be exact since I'll trim the ends later. The second board I got is cherry. I'm just following the line down on each side like I did the first board. The last board is maple. Next I establish a face side on each board. It's easier to start by planing across the grain. Just make sure to chamfer the edge first to prevent tear out. There was a little bit of twist on the maple board, so I planed down the high corners with a few light passes. Once I have a flat reference face, I square up one edge. I keep checking the edge with a square and taking down the high spots. When the edge is square, I set the marking gauge to the thickness I want and run it against the straight edge. I start with the board low in the vise to reduce vibration, then I saw down the line alternating sides as I go.
Once it's cut, I plane the sawn edge and repeat that to make strips out of each board. Then I mark the third edge and carefully plane down to the line. Since this will be a cutting board, I'm using glue that is safe for food contact. This looks really bad, but the bottom is flat. I'll plane the whole top flat later. Just like before, I'm planing up the face, squaring the edges, and planing the whole board to a constant thickness. I mark a line all the way around so I have something to plane down to. For the ends I take my time and work from both sides. I leave a little extra room and then plane the ends smooth.
when you plane end grain work in from both sides so there's no tear out. I marked lines for all the chamfers keeping them pretty light, then I planed down to those lines. You could do this part with a chisel or a router too. I do a quick sanding with 220 grit, wipe it with water to raise the grain, and then sand it again. Finally, I wipe on mineral oil and beeswax, let it sit for 20 minutes, and wipe off any excess. Well there you go, really nice cutting board and just some simple hand tools. Regular hand plane, a saw, something that's square, and you're good to go. You've got lots of squaring up, lots of glue ups, um, cleaning all the board flat at the end, making sure the chamfers are nice and even, so really great to practice on and not a whole lot of materials up front. So this is a really good project, highly encourage you to go try it out. Come up with a nice pattern that you like and just give it a go. Thanks for watching. See you next time.